I want to respond to the new rendition of For What It's Worth by the organization that calls itself NukeFree.org. My name is Rod Adams. You probably know, don't know me. I'm not a musician, and I'm not even a very good public speaker. I'm just a nuke. Unlike Bonnie Raitt, Graham Nash, Jackson Brown, I have never been quoted in a major news article about atomic energy, so my expertise may be subject to some question. My only formal qualification for this commentary is that I once served as the engineer officer of a nuclear-powered submarine. About 16 years ago, my wife and I celebrated our 10th anniversary with what some of my colleagues called a busman's holiday on a cruise ship. I had just completed a 40-month sea duty tour, including six long deployments. But I wanted to share my love of life on the open ocean with my bride. While sitting on the deck of the ship with some smelly diesel exhaust streaming overhead, I had a thought. What if the cruise ship could be powered by an atomic engine fueled with uranium, like the sub that I knew so well? Not only would she be able to circle the globe about a dozen times without refueling, but she would do so without producing any noxious gases at all. I knew it would work. After all, submarines have been going to sea on nuclear power since before I was born. That picture you see behind me is my attempt to illustrate the aha moment that changed my life. After about two years worth of additional R&D, I formed Adams Atomic Engines. As I was saying goodbye to my Navy buddies, one friend spoke words that turned out to be prophetic. Dave said, the oil guys will never let you succeed. Like many Americans, I was naive enough to believe that everyone would want a clean, new power source that did not consume imported oil. I had spent the 1980s either in school, on shift work, underwater, or raising children. At the time I was on the cruise ship, some of my classmates were on different kinds of ships, protecting America's energy interests in the first Gulf War. From my point of view, a simplified method for using atomic energy instead of oil was a no-brainer. I had no real understanding of just how threatening nuclear energy was to the prosperity of the coal, oil, and gas industries. In the No Nukes video rendition of For What It's Worth, Ben Harper speaks the only words that ring true based on my experience over the last 16 years. You know where there's dirty power there's dirty players. Take Harper's advice and remember that. I wonder how the talented musicians would feel if they realized that the real effect of successful actions against nuclear energy is to maintain the profits of the established fossil fuel industry. There's a reason why the major players in the solar, wind, biomass industry have familiar names like Shell, Chevron, General Electric, Siemens, BP, otherwise known as British Petroleum, and Archer Daniels Midland. None of those alternatives can replace the far more profitable fossil fuel as a source of reliable, weather-independent, cost-effective, concentrated energy source. If you want to learn more, please visit AtomicInsights.com atomicinsights.blogspot.com or listen to The Atomic Show hosted by the Podcast Network. Take those sites for what they are worth. If you prefer entertainers as your source of energy information, don't bother to visit my sites. None of them have any music available for download. But take the advice of the musicians. Once you've learned something, take action. Write your congressman and your senators and tell them that you believe that clean nuclear energy has potential to help America meet its energy needs without causing any greenhouse gas or acid rain emissions.